makes me wonder Hi everyone! Today we have a tutorial for part two of Stairway to Heaven. I know so many of you have been eagerly awaiting this day and ta-da! It is finally here. Gotta give a big shout out to the Patreon patrons. They voted for part two for their November 2017 tutorial. Each of these tutorials takes me upwards of 30 hours to create and craft and the patrons directly support the production of these tutorials to make them available to everyone for free. So thank you patrons. If you are interested in joining our amazing online ukulele community, then check out Patreon. Okay, so you're gonna need to review part one because we're going to use the same finger picking pattern in part two, and you'll also wanna download a chord chart. So links for both of those things are available up here and in the description box below. I will play through part two first so you can get a sense of how it goes, and afterwards I will teach the chords, the picking, the strumming, and then we'll put it all together. We'll count in for the strum break. Two, three. Oh, and it makes me wonder. Oh, and it makes me wonder. There's a feeling I get when I look. Spirit is crying for leaving. In my thoughts, I have seen rings of smoke through the trees and the voices of those who stand looking. Ooh, and it makes me want.
let's start with the strum break that's at the top of part two. You're going to repeat the strum break in between each verse in part two. So it's a pretty significant portion of the song. So let's start with the first chord, which is A minor, relatively easy chord. And then you see there, you're gonna play down, down, up, down, up, down. It sounds like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down. That might be kind of fast for some of you, so let's slow that down. So we go down, down, up, down, up, the counts are one, two, and three, and four, okay? If that's fast for you, make sure that when you get to the bottom of your down strum, you don't lift your hand away. You keep it right there so you can come right back up, okay? So let's try that. We'll go three, four, one, two, and three, and four. Again, and down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, one more time, well, a little bit faster, ready, and down, down, up, down, up, down, and then you go to our fancy A minor 7. This is not the usual A minor 7, but you're going to add your ring finger. Oh, I forgot to mention, you're going to use your index finger for A minor because that makes it easier to then add your ring finger for A minor 7. Yep, our fancy A minor 7, and you're going to use it for the, uh, this same shape for the next chords too. So try that A minor 7. Yep, pretty funky sounding. So we're going to go from the A minor, down, down, up, down, up, down, then add the ring finger on the E string on the 3rd fret for A minor 7. And then we go to the D sus 4, and you can see from the shape, all you need to do is then add your middle finger right there. Yep, so it's all kind of set up that way, yep. So then try the D sus 4. Yeah, cool sounding chord too. Sus stands for sustained, just so that you'll know that. And I'll just kind of call it sus, yeah? Okay, and then the next chord is a D, and then you just take the shape and you slide your ring finger back, a regular D. Okay. Now let's try all of that. That's like the first half of that strum break from the A minor. Ready? We go down, down, up, down, up, down. Now add your ring finger, A minor seven. Now add your middle finger, sus. Now slide your ring finger back, D. Yeah, okay. Let's try it kind of in time, but slow. Two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, up, down. A minor seven. Sus, D, okay, again, and down, down, up, down, up, down, seven, sus, D. It's fast. They're all just single strums, so just take your time in working those chord transitions in the left hand. Okay, now the second half of the strum break, we do the A minor and A minor seven again, so let's try that A minor, same thing. Down, down, up, down, up, down, A minor 7, okay? Now we have single strums on more chords. They're relatively, you know, beginner chords. They just move really fast. So from here, you go to the E minor. I would take my ring finger, move it up to the C string, slide it over to the 4th fret, assembly E minor. E minor, right? Now you go to a D, okay? This is what I would do. I would leave my ring finger here. I would put my index finger up. Yeah, so you're you're down on the A string right now. Move it all the way up to the G string and then kind of assemble your D. D, then C, then back to D. It's fast and it moves a lot. It's just a matter of kind of building up that efficiency of chord transition. Yep, E minor, D, C, D. Okay, let's try the second half from the A minor. Ready? Nice and slow. Two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, up, down. A minor seven. E minor. E minor. D, C, D. One more time, just like that. Three, four. A minor. Down, up, down, up, down. Seven. D, C. Let's try the full strum break. Yeah, both halves, starting from the A minor. Ready? It's nice and slow. Down, down, up, down, up, down. 
and down, down, up, down, up, down, A minor 7, sus, D, ready, A minor again, down, down, up, down, up, down, A minor 7, E minor, D, C, D, okay, let's do that one more time, a hair slower, 2, 3, 4, down, down, up, down, up, down, A minor 7, sus, D, ooh, and it makes me wonder, E minor, D, C, D. Okay, you're going to play that twice for every strum break, and like I said, you're going to play it in between each verse, so make sure you practice and get that nice and fluid. If that's too fast for you in YouTube, you can go to the bottom corner, uh, the bottom right corner, hit the gear icon and play back this video at uh, three quarter speed or half speed. But it's really just about working that chord transition, that left hands to be nice and fluid. Now let's look at the verse. We are finger picking for the first four verses and strumming for the second four verses. Uh, but we are using the exact same chord progression for all of the verses. So we're gonna learn that chord progression, and the chord progression uses all easy chords. There's just one little interesting rhythm thing that I'm gonna show you. So let's look at verse one. We'll just single strum through, we'll sing it and play a single strum on each chord. Yeah, starting with C. There's a feeling I get. When I look to the west And my spirit is crying for And then F, Lee, and A minor, and B So you'll see there, next to the G, I wrote the counts are 1, 2, 3 And then the F comes on the 4, okay? So on G, we go crying for is 1, 2, 3 And then F is Lee Leaving, leaving on the on the four. So one, two, three, four. Okay. G two three F. Okay. So you gotta go from the C. We'll go. And my spirit is crying for Lee. And then A minor goes on the V. That can be a little fast and just kind of tricky. Um, but the counts are G, one, two, three, F is on the four. If you're not that great with counting, then just go with the words, okay? That you go crying for, leaving, F A minor, right? Is leaving, okay? So let's try that again. Single strumming through the second verse. In my thoughts I have seen Rings of smoke through the trees And the voices of those who stand Right, those who stand is one, two, three And then looking Again, the F and A minor go with the syllables Looking Okay, now let's apply our picking pattern to those verses this is the same picking pattern that we used in part one. I'll review it quickly, but if you want practice on it, then just go to the part one tutorial, okay? You're going to pinch one and four, right? On the C, we'll practice. Pinch one and four, and then pluck two, three, four, okay? And I call it pinching because you're kind of bringing together those outside strings. So one and four, one, two, three, four. Right? One and four, two, three, four. Okay, now let's try that moving slowly through verse one. Okay, ready? See? There's a feeling I get when I look to the west, and my spirit is crying. Okay, so here we have to apply that rhythm thing. On the G, we have to go one, two, three. So you don't finish the picking pattern, you go straight to the F on a strum. Okay, so on the G, you go one, two, three, F on four. All right, so you just have to kind of get used to that timing. Let's try it. On the G, we'll go pluck, two, three, four. 
drum on the up. One more time on the G. Ready? Three, four. Pluck two, three, F. And then you go to the A minor. Okay, you're going to strum on the F and A minor. Okay? So let's try that whole line singing a little bit more in time, but nice and slow. Okay? We go one, two, three, four. One, two. There's a feeling I get. Sorry, I broke off from the singing there. Let's try the second line, and I won't break off from the singing there. I'll just tr try to go with it. Okay, ready? In my thoughts, one, two. In my thoughts I have seen rings of smoke through the trees and the voices of those who stand looking. Okay, so... The, those strums go with the words, right? Reason, laughter. So that should help you to find the timing and then the picking, just remembering that you don't complete the pattern on the G, the one, two, three, okay? Now, after you finish the um, verse two, you're going to go to what I'm calling a picking interlude. And it's just, two chords that you're going to do the picking pattern on c pick two three four g pick two three four and then you go back to the strum break a minor okay so let's just try very quickly uh, that transition of the picking interlude into the strum break ready so we'll go one two three four c two three four g two a minor and down down up down up down okay so it's all just kind of mentally preparing for what's next okay great so um after the second picking interlude and strum break, we're going to move into the rock strum for the verse. I call the rock strum the head banging strum because you really want to get that groove of banging your head on the one and three, okay? So uh, in time, it feels like this. I'm going to mute my strings to scratch the rhythm. I think that's a good way to learn rhythmic strums. It's going to feel like this. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So you'll notice I'm banging my head on the one and three. So that might be kind of fast for some people. I've, uh, you know, students have told me that it's hard to kind of get all of that under your belt. So um, you can focus on the one and three, right? So the one, if you skip the rest of it, that's fine. You think of just hitting the head banging hits. You go one, three, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and that's a better place to start um, than trying to squeeze in all of those strums and then falling behind. Okay, so um, let's try moving through verse one with that one and three head banging feel, and then I uh, will walk through the rest of the rock strum. Um, for those who are ready for it, okay? So, let's go. If there's a bustle, okay, we're gonna just hit the one and three. I'll go one, two, three, four. If there's a bustle in your hedgerow, don't be alarmed now. It's just a spring clean for the... Okay, here you still gotta go to the F on the four, so that's just a weird thing that you're gonna have to get used to. So you still hit the one and three, four on the F and then the A minor. Those hits are the same. That's just a really iconic thing of the song that you wanna capture timing wise, okay? All right, let's try the second line just to uh, reinforce that. Uh, verse six, two, one and three and one and three yes yes there are two paths you can go by but in the long run there's still time to change the road you're on okay you 
feel that? So I do that big lean in to try to give you an indication and you know, that you can kind of feel that lean in yourself, right? One, two, three, four, right? Okay, that G to F, okay. So now let's try it with the full rock strum. Actually, what we could do first before we get to the full rock strum is just do a light strum for the two and four, right? So before where we were doing one, two, three, four. Now let's do a light strum on the two and four. So we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Some people ask, am I strumming all the strings on the light strum? You want to try to strum all the strings, but build up the control where you can do it um, lighter. Yeah, so let's play it all slower, right? So we'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you're still getting confused rhythmically, go ahead and use that YouTube feature of slowing down the video. Okay, let's try that nice and slow on verse five if there's a bustle, okay? We'll go one, two, three, four. One. If there's a bustle in your hedgerow, don't be alarmed now. It's just a spring clean for the May Queen. Okay, remember at the end, there's that weird rhythm thing, okay? One more time. Then um, on verse six, ready? One, two, three, four. Yes, there are two paths you can go by, but in the long run, there's still time to change the road you're on. Good. And then we go back to the picking interlude. So get ready for your C, right? Go back to your picking on C, pick, pick on G, then your strum break, A minor. Okay, good. Now let's play through the full rock strum on our last two verses, yep. So the full rock strum is, uh, let's do it on the C. We're gonna go one, two, four and okay down up all right so let's just play it on the c and we'll get a little bit faster and a little bit faster ready one two three four and one two three four and one two three a little faster and one two three four and one two three a little faster one Still feel that head banging feel. One, two, three. Okay, because this is a rock song. All right, here we go. We're gonna try it slower on your head is humming. Okay, we'll go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and one. your head is humming, and it won't go in case you don't know. The pipe is calling you. interlude pick pick and then we'll go into part three next time okay so we'll wrap up the tutorial there thank you so much for joining me you may have been eyeing my beautiful ukulele here this is uh, from tide music handcrafted they made this specially for me because i'm from san francisco and i love my city look at this inlay it's so gorgeous 
Yeah. So definitely check out Tide. They're um, great folks over in Lake Tahoe. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, subscribe, comment, consider joining us over on Patreon. Stay tuned for part three. Happy practicing. Remember five minutes a day, nice and slow. It's good for your brain. It's good for your soul. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. This moment to arrive